What is up, what is good, what is going on, Knuckleheads and Shave fans? Today I am going to do a video on my top 5 current synthetic brushes. That said, this is always changing. I've got a bunch of synthetics. Um, I haven't used all of them a whole lot, but these are the ones that I really like. And actually, to start with, I'm going to hit you with four honorable mentions. And I'll tell you why, for each of them, why it's an honorable mention. First honorable mention is kind of the synthetic that started all the huge trend on synthetic. And that is the Plisson synthetic. Um, fantastic little brush. Um, the handle's nice. A nice shape, but it's really light. Um, you can see a little dang off the end of it. It's just not the best coating on. I know guys had their bubble and stuff like that. Um, some said, some just said Plaisance. Some have the L'Occitane on there. Um, it's uber soft knot. Lathers incredibly well. Nice and soft on the face. This was the brush that started it all. The whole rave, the rage about uh, synthetics. I'm still a hell of a good knot. I haven't used it in a long time, but this is the one that started it all. And a great knot, the Poisson synthetic. Not to mention that knot is still copied to this day. So, next up, another one that was one of the first out, the Muley, Muley STF uh, silver tip fiber brush. Uh, this is a small, um, it came in three sizes. Um, this is was, until recently, my travel brush. Came in a gray tube, nice and small, lathers up really nice. Not the densest of knots, Worked really well, decent face feel, not as soft as the Poisson, but a nice little brush. Had to throw that in there because this was one of my favorite synthetics for a long, long time. Next, I have two, my last two honorable mentions. And the only reason these two probably aren't in my top five is because I just recently got them. And I've been having to choose between the two of them. Um, but these are the West Coast Shaving with the Poisson type knot and the all black West Coast Shaving Tuxedo knot, all but these things lather amazing. The handles are nice, hefty, not hefty, not, not overly heavy, but they're nice solid handles. They're not cheap plastic, they don't feel light. And they look, my God, they lather amazingly. I love this one just so I can match it with, I get matchy matchy with some of my shit of the days. And this one I can put with anything. I love it, love the engraved logo on the bottom. Synth uh, the Tuxedo knot is just a plain great synthetic knot. Nice and soft to the touch. This one's set a little bit lower, I think. So it's got a little bit more, um, not spring, but a little bit more, you push it a little bit harder, a little bit stiffer knot in it. So I like that actually. So it's not uber, uber, uber soft like some of them can be. And then here's the Plaisant type knot with the etched in West Coast shaving. Just a beautiful handle. Like that handle is gorgeous. The knot is nice. I think they're both 24. Fours, I believe it could be 26s. I didn't look that up first, but beautiful knots. I'd recommend these super highly. I think they're 20, around 20, 25 bucks each. Awesome knots, awesome handles, beautiful knots. These will be in my top five sooner or later. I can guarantee at least one of them will be. Now let's get into the actual top five. Not really in any particular order. Um, well, I guess they're in somewhat of an order. Um, so let's go with number five is going to be the Yaki Tuxedo, this is called the Sagrada Familia handle. Nice little yellow handle, uh, 24 millimeter tuxedo. Just, this is my, was, is currently my travel brush. Um, it's nice and small, but I use it more often than I thought I would. Love the color of the handle, actually. It's nice and see-through there. Um, great little tuxedo knot on it. It's really, it's a beautiful knot, really nice knot. Um, also, again, this one has been buried, I think, in the handle a little bit deeper than some, so it's not super floppy, so you do get a little bit of face feel with that one. Really nice little knot. Um, I recommend this one. Everybody, anybody ask me what Yaki brush to get, if you're looking for a travel brush, this is this is the one to get. Um, under 15 bucks, I think it's like 11 or 12 bucks, maybe. Not sure exactly 100%, but I love this brush. This is one that surprised the heck out of me. Awesome little brush. That's number five. Number four, we are going to go with, bam, the Yaki Barber Pole. Um, I have the other Yaki Barber Pole. It's a bigger handle with a tuxedo knot, but 
but it's a 30 mil knot. It's just huge. It's a beautiful brush, but I like a small, like, I love the handle on this 26 millimeter knot. And this is the Mew knot. You can tell it's got the different colored fibers in there. Super soft to the touch, but it, like, and you can see it's been recessed into the handle a little bit. So it's good for face lathering. Phenomenal for bowl lathering as well with the longer handle. I just love the looks of this. I love barber pole style handles. They're just awesome. And this knot is a fantastic one. They're putting this in more of their brushes now. I think people are going to love this. If you'd like this uber soft to the touch, I think this is softer than a tuxedo to the touch, to be honest. But just a beautiful, beautiful knot. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Excellent for face and bowl lathering, which is a good thing because a lot of the knots that have smaller handles aren't the greatest for bowl lathering. Or because a lot of guys load from a mug. This one, longer handle, beautiful. So that is number four. Let's go up to number three, and this could move up easily. I just recently got this uh, from a good friend at Paragon Shaving, um, Rodrigo Zidane. This is a Paragon shaving brush with a 25 millimeter black synthetic. When I first saw this, I thought, oh, the knot looks like it's a little bit too high of a loft for my liking, but my God, this thing lathers phenomenally. I love these black fiber knots. They got a little bit of face feel. Um, I don't know how he, he, I know he's been working on these for a long time. The mahogany handle is also beautiful. Um, fantastic looking brush, but this knot, I don't know what he did, how he got the perfect loft on this thing, but it lathers as good as any brush I'd ever used. Phenomenal lather. Just love it. Cool looking brush, nice and hefty. Solid mahogany handle. Love this brush. This is new to the den. I think I've had it for like two weeks now. Don't, not three weeks, but man, oh man. Uh, I just love this. Just like the West Coast Shavings, just new brushes, but this one snuck in there a little bit ahead. Phenomenal. Absolutely recommend this to anyone. Excellent. He also makes these handles with badger knots and different shape handles, but if you want a great, great, great brush, this is one for you. That's number three. Number two is kind of what got me into Yaki Synthetics, and that is the Ferrari handled tuxedo knot, 26 millimeter knot, which I was, I think this is the first time I had the first 26 millimeter knot I ever had. I'd always went with 24s, 22s, just kind of a smaller face, but man, oh man, this handle is beautiful. It's the Ferrari red, and this is like a, a kind of a newer at the time. Uh, tuxedo knot. It's a little bit wider the tips you can see on this one. Let me find a and say that's the West Coast shaving one, which looks the same, similar knot to all the other Yakis. But pre, oh here we go. Here's a pr previous Yaki knot. It's a little bit brighter white. Um, uber bright, nice and soft. Nice face feel on this one. Um, just pillowy, pillowy soft. Lathers up great. The handle is just fantastic. I love. The shape of this handle, I love the looks of this handle. Um, it's just beautiful, and this is kind of what started my real huge love of Yaki brushes and synthetics. Number two, the Ferrari from Yaki. I think it's still on their website. If it is, and you're looking for a synthetic knot, this, this is the brush. Absolutely fantastic. Number five. This is one that not, you can't get necessarily. Um, this is a custom brush, custom handle, with his own synthetic knot that I have fallen in love with. I think this is just the perfect brush. Give me one second, I hear a knock on the door. I'm back. Never mind. It was the <laughs> the recycling truck I hear banging. So so back to this. This is absolutely my favorite synthetic brush. This is a Spiffo. Handle, gumdrop handle. He is from Coal Harbor, Nova Scotia. Check out his website. Just makes, I'll list all these websites down below. But first time I ever saw a gumdrop handle, he was at a show and I was talking to him. I was like, oh my God, this handle feels amazing. He's like, oh yeah, it's my new gumdrop style. So I had to get my own. Um, phenomenal color, but the big, just incredible turned handle. If you can get the best. So deep, rich, beautiful red and white. Just looks phenomenal but the show stealer is this knot he calls it the luxido 
It looks like a tuxedo, looks like the original tuxedos. Um, not as white as the new Yaki tuxedo, but this has a feel like a badger. It's got some scritch to it, not a lot, like it doesn't, not one of like girls like black badger brushes. Um, it's got some face feel to it. Feels like you're using a badger, which I kind of like because I've got a ton of pillowy soft synthetics. I don't need another one. Well, I do because I love synthetics, but anyways, this one has a totally different feel. Nothing feels more, no synthetic I've ever tried feels more like an actual badger knot. But it has the best properties of the synthetics. No stink, no break-in period, dries super fast, but feels like a badger. So if you're somebody that likes to face lather, um, you're kind of hesitant on trying a synthetic brush because you love your badgers, this knot, this, the Luxedo from Spiffo, get your hands on one of these. Um, I pretty much guarantee it'll be your favorite synthetic knot. It just, that is if you like a little bit of stretch, a little bit of feeling like a badger, this is, this is it. This is just an absolute amazing brush. By far my favorite synthetic right now. Um, I just love it. It's so different. Um, handle is amazing. The loft set perfectly. Great face feel because I have a face lather. I don't know what else to say about it. Just a perfect, perfect brush for me. Um, yeah, excellent. So those were my, those are nine brushes, I guess. So I guess he has my top nine. Um, well, not my top nine, because I wouldn't put the Poisson and the Mule in my top 10 brushes anymore. But just wanted to put those out there because they were the grandfathers of the synthetic knots. They weren't the first, but the ones before that were terrible. So yeah, hope you liked this episode of my top five synthetic knots. Um, let me know what your favorite synthetics are. Um, I've got a couple other ones that just I haven't used enough. I got a couple full moon synthetics from Turn and Shave. I got a half moon synthetic from Turn and Shave. Um, I got some other ones I just haven't used enough to put in here, but are still fantastic knots. There's a lot of great ones out there. We really are living in the golden age of just wet shaving. There's so much great stuff out there. Yeah, but thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know what you'd like to see a top five of next. Uh, top five modern razors, top five soaps I don't like. I don't know. Just name it and I'll try to put it out there. Um, I can't do a top five bore brushes so they only have five bores. And same with uh, badger knots. I only have, I think I have 10 or 12. I don't know how many badgers I have. Not that many though. So yeah. Anyways, again, for the third or fourth time I said this, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for all the support. I'm loving this. Loving doing this for you guys. Hope this can help you guys maybe make a decision on buying a brush. Again, if you have any questions, jot it down below. Like and subscribe. I think the buttons are down here somewhere. Peace out. Have a great day. Adios. Three, four.